So you play the ukulele. Oh. No, that's Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Ryan does have one, doesn't he? <laughs> I was trying to come up with some weird instrument, but then Ron might play it. That's Ryan. <laughs> he does them all. He has them all. He's got a yeah, lot of He does. This is Ron Hoonrud, and he's sitting right over by us here, and he will be our point of uh, discussion today. <laughs> uh, good, good. <laughs> How long have you known him? Ron? Uh, a few years now. Met him over at Sunset Resort at James Session. Oh, okay. And I don't know, we started talking, and he uh, turned out to be a really good guy. I shouldn't say that on camera. Well, he, he will. He will. He <laughs> probably play it back to you. Probably, <laughs> probably play, you know, play it back several times. Uh -huh. You'll probably get a loop going, you know, and yeah. send it over to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't teach about to edit. <laughs> right there you go. <laughs> So besides besides singing, which you sing great, and you and you have some wonder, I love your compositions. <laughs> you have some wonderful songs. He's gonna be he's gonna be singing songs with us in our new radio show. It's so new we haven't even named it. Wow. You know we got we have several several options. We have you know Kentucky Fest. I you know I've got the domain on that, and we could actually. Bring Clay Campbell in, call it Kentucky Opry, but I don't know if he wants to do that because there may be someone on that they have a copyright thing, and he would be sitting there with it. I mean, I'd love it. Other than that, I'll talk to him about see if he has a spot with that, or or, or the Old Men Stories Opry. We have three different options now, so it's 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 pretty cool. Do you have any other hobbies? Just my passion, Senator. Yes, you were, you were telling me about uh, the uh, soup, the pro arginine. Pro arginine. Plus. Arginine. I never pronounced it right. You know, when you, you read all these vitamins, you read all about them, and you and you start pr pronouncing them the way you read them. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone corrects you, <laughs> and you can't quite get corrected. <laughs> That's no problem. That's not, so. I'll have to get more on that because I do take. Two huge things of it, like thousands of stuff. Yeah, milligrams. Well, that, yeah, I, the, the nice thing about it is Dr. Prennerbrass has got a, a special blend. Yeah, and uh, that lasts longer. Yeah, it, well, it's just so much better for your body. Yeah, yeah. I used I, I, I used to take them with orthodox as that, that's a that's a that's a thing that helps you along. Okay, well, if you take L arginine. And you put it in your body, it only lasts seconds to a couple hours in your system. Yeah, yeah. But you put add L citrine to it, it makes it last 24 hours or more. Oh, okay. Then Dr. Prennergrass added uh, vitamin D3 yeah. and uh, pomegranate and uh, resveratrol. Resveratrol is yeah. like you yeah. uh, drinking a bottle of wine without the alcohol. Yeah. Cool. And some people like that, some people don't. Well, I'll, we'll have to look at it. I'll <laughs> yeah. have to look at it because. Uh, one of our problems, Carrie and I found with vitamins, is we take so many of them. We've been taking them for a quarter century. Is that we have this policy: if we buy and start taking one, one we have to, which one are we going to get rid of? Because mm -hmm. I have these two big packets we take a day. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so two packets like that, and and. We have arginine in for morning and evening, so those, that's, I think that we that's definitely need to get together and talk yeah. and help you. Um, this one lady told me she says you have everything that I have in there plus L arginine and L citrine. She says so I, I got to buy it from you because it's like a quarter of what I pay a month for my stuff. Okay. So, okay. You like it? No yeah, problem. Look at that. Our other, our, our, we're, you know, it's here. He's here in, the, in this area. It's all over the world. No, no, I mean the, the company. It, well, that's up in Utah. Oh, it's in Utah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, but we're, we are all over the world. 
So, yeah, and you shoot or you uh, you ski. I mean, in yeah, the way, I used to go fishing, but uh, not many places to fish around <laughs> here that's worth a dollar. You have to go up north into the mountains. Yeah, but it's still, it's, but there's so many people fishing. It's like you're lucky to find a fish. <laughs> you got to go back to you go back to Minnesota to fish. Yeah, not that be fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, Ron and I have got great lakes. And I mean, you, you can always catch fish. You know? or I catch you fish. You live in Minnesota. Right? Yes, I just live. Yeah, I live right next to, right next to, oh. or about a, about well, five miles. I mean, we're just across the lake. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. He lives closer to Zorba's. Don't no, he look? Well, he's gone. Now. Zorba's is our restaurant. Zorba's is it's a pizza spot. Yeah, a super pizza spot. <laughs> One of those spots that's got the canoes upside down, the motors all over the place. Wow. You got the, you know, the atmosphere. Yeah, atmosphere is just, just <laughs> great, and, they, and their pizzas are phenomenal. Fantastic. They got a Zorba special. <laughs> you have a place like that here? What is it? Rosati's? Yeah, we got Rosati's pizza here. Back home, we used to have Serrano's Village. Right? Like, okay. I'm I love the deep, deep, deep dish. Yeah, the deep fish. Oh, fish, yeah. Uh, the uh, real thin crust and the medium crust. Yeah. And uh, muscatelli. Uh, I remember all that. All, I remember. I remember the other one. Yeah. Because they opened it. They opened it in another in, in, in another city. I forget where it was. Yeah. And I, and I, like Portillo's. Yeah. They got one of those in Scottsdale. Oh, do they? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chicago has some good food. So you, your 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 heart isn't still in Chicago, though, is it? No, Chicago is a nice place to be from. <laughs> I love it here. I'm from Minneapolis, so <laughs> yeah. big cities are big cities are nice places to be. From. Especially now, you know, if you're all under siege, <laughs> snowing and the that's right, freezing that's right. cold yeah. and the wind chills and everything. And you're sitting here in the warm weather. Yeah, it's absolutely. What's the date today? Brilliant. January 22nd. Somewhere in there, yeah. I love it. And we had just phenomenal weather. Yesterday was 81. Wow. It uh, was a rough day. 81 degrees. <laughs> so you're taking this synergy. So what marathons are you competing? I'm not personally, but uh, there is a lot of. Oh, I don't. I just want to hear about you. Oh, it's no. a story just on you. I don't do marathon. <laughs> Actually, I can walk again. Can you walk? Can you breathe. were in bad shape. I, I heard breathe. you. Yeah, I had thirty percent breathe due to passing my lungs. Wow. I couldn't breathe, and now last year uh, they said I had sixty-nine percent breathing capacity, and the doctor told me that it just gets worse. COPD, not better. Wow. And this year it was seventy-one. So. Huh. I would be happy about that. Yeah. Taught myself how to play guitar the last few years. Yeah. Um, I was singing, and I'd sing one song that was uh, just a garble singer. I had yeah. song that had Chuck Lemon and stuff, and I couldn't get to it. And now, you know, we just used to have a Okay, well, we got to talk to Ron about the background noise, right? Oh, really? <laughs> Did you hear something? <laughs> Yeah, He's holding his head over his mouth. Don't teach him how to edit. <laughs> 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 you want to hear some background noise? Go back and watch what we did today at the, at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be cool. That'll be cool going and watching it. Yeah, Ryan was down blowing in Shirley's hair, and she's looking down. She's like, What's going on? <laughs> We do have fun. Okay, it, it, you you play guitar. That's it, right? And make up and do great songs. Yeah, well, I, I come out with a new song, "Burning Daylight." Oh wow! You, did you make a CD? Yeah. yeah. So you've done. Oh, so you got some CDs. Are they right well, next to Ron's well, on the shelf? That's the yeah, one CD. That, that's my number one song. On there. And um, if you'd like to hear how that came around, that was, that was pretty. Yeah, cool. tell me. Actually, last year, around Christmas time, we, we started singing some Christmas songs, 
So I was doing Arizona Christmas in the style of another song. And uh, I was explaining it. How to, you know, the, 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 the C and G and stuff. And this guy says, you're burning daylight. <laughs> and I just kind of ignored him. And just kept on talking. And then I said, uh, we have the Legends of Country Music show band. I'm you know, kind of promoting them a little bit and stuff. And he said it again. He said it again. I said, you're right. I'm burning daylight. You kissed my butt. And I took the paper and walked out the door. <laughs> and I walked around to the back of the building. And I come in the back and I sat down with some friends. And I was a little upset. I had to calm myself down. And uh, I was telling them, I said, you know what? I said, when it's my turn, I do what I want to do. Whether I want to burn daylight or I want to sing, I got five minutes. I can do anything I want. So I just sat down and I said, when it's my turn, do what I do. Burning daylight, just talking to you. <laughs> and then another friend of ours come in and he start. He says, uh, he says, yeah. He says you're burning up air too. And I says, yeah, that's a good one. I'm burning daylight, sucking up oxygen too. <laughs> and that's how the song come around. Oh, I've heard it twice now. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You were at uh, the one on Sunday. Yeah. 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 You have another one I'm gonna hear? Uh, not a no, no. I was we were talking about a new one, Carol and I, and uh, I haven't written one any further. We just got kind of a headline. Okay. Remember what it is. You have to okay. <laughs> so you have a you have a co-composer, huh? Thinking about it. Yeah. Do you give her credit? You have her subtitle? Oh, I I wrote right on the CD. Though. Thanks to Carol, you know, told me I could do this. So. <laughs> yeah, give her a little pat on the back. <laughs> so, right now you've got one song, and you take vitamins in this one. Well, yeah. And do you take it more than once a day? We try to cover a day here. Oh, you mean the pro argument? Yes. Well, yeah, I take it in the morning, one one scoop in the morning, and I take one after lunch. Oh, okay. And I uh, also have neuropathy in my legs, so I take multivitamin and mineral tablets. Cool. To help me with that. There's a doctor one that was going to take this uh, drug and all that that was meant to go to sleep. I well, didn't feel nothing. Yeah, you were just fine. You're just fine. You're just asleep a lot. Yeah, right. No, I was not functional. myself off of that and I started taking my multivitamins with that and my, my feet are feel great. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually it is. It is. It <laughs> I is. have a bad disc in my lower back that goes. So wow. I can't, can't function. Well, with all those little problems, don't yell at the guy that yells at you. <laughs> Not no more. No, I, I figured every adversity there's an equal and greater benefit. Absolutely. I sat down and I curbed my, my temper and I just said, you know what? I'm really good. What, what, what good can I make out of it? And I went back and thanked him for, for doing that. I said, sorry, I really thank you. And you gave me inspiration. What a guy. And he's like, oh, thanks. <laughs> Where's the, where's the cut around. in it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I think he was goofing around when he did it. Oh, okay. When he said it, but uh, I didn't take it as well. Oh, okay. But it's great now because I have a, a new CD out and a new song. Maybe it'll get on. Maybe it'll become a hit. People tell me they like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. You never know. Isn't that how country happens? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You, you, get, you have a, an experience and you write down. You write down the down journey. You write down yeah. the journey. That's what the, that's what old man's stories about. It's just telling the life story. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I'll, I'll ask for the play-by-play -play about the ending of your relationship. The 
Indiana. The one in Chicago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll just we won't we won't say anything about that. <laughs> yeah. Turn the page. Yeah, we'll turn the page. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what. My wife ran off with my best friend, and I sure do miss her. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. You know, that was the best thing she ever did for me was give me a divorce. <laughs> Isn't that surprising? Yeah. How you, how, how what you think terrible turns are the best ones? That's what you were just saying yeah, before. At the time, I didn't uh, yeah, really yeah, yeah. care for it, but now it's like yeah, yeah. being to have yeah. yeah. I think we're going to need some duct tape over there. No, I think we're almost done here. I think we got a pretty good interview. <laughs> no, just leave it. it. It's not falling. So he's sitting here holding up the green screen behind behind us, but actually he's probably holding up like a tree or something because the tree will <laughs> Or he might be holding up, you know, I might put a desert so he might be holding up a cactus or something. He put a saguaro back there. You got to have his hand on the saguaro, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, we do have fun out here. Say your name and old men's stories. That's what you got to do to close this thing off. My name, CBS Carl. <laughs> BS Carl. That's my, that's my screen name, CBS Carl. It's, I thought it was Carl BS. No. Oh, it's no, not. That, that's uh, uh, what Tom says. No. Oh, that's what Tom says. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, uh, what's that song? From now on, all my friends are going to be strangers. <laughs> <laughs> I did that 14 years ago in Chicago, and I found out I got a whole, whole new uh, round of friends. It does. It is, yeah, it is nice great. sometimes, yeah. isn't it? it is. And you notice that, uh, you know, I know Ron here, but uh, everyone else strange to me, isn't it? It's funny, isn't it? It's sort of nice. It's sort of nice. Every, everyone's on their best behavior for a little while. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> we just well, it depends. I don't where think you're we at. care if you, anymore. If you're at the if you're at if you're at the National Wrestling Federation or something, well, no, no. that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> no. Unless it's in pudding. What's your, I missed your last name. Shoki. Shoki. Yes. Good old dream. It is. They have a restaurant called Soltz or something like that. It's a great restaurant. Shots and Shots Yeah. So it's a good German. I've heard German. Bring. 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 My mother was a Kelly girl. Kelly Irish. The luck of the Irish. You do look you do look more Irish than you do than you do German. Really? Sort of smile, that German, not the German, the Irish, the Irish smile. Sort of like, eh, I got the will. I own it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may not own it, but we got a, we got a nice section of it right here. <laughs> okay, so Carl, <laughs> I got to pronounce the last name. Schultz. 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 How do you spell it? Sure. S C H U E L K E. S C H U E L K E Shoki. Okay, now I it's a Carl Shoki Old Man Stories. Carl Shoki with Old Man Stories. Ah, thank you. I'm burning daylight, sucking up oxygen too.